Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirited Outdoors. I'm gonna get out here and do a little cooking today. Uh, special little meal for me. Tomorrow is my birthday, so you'll probably see this video on my birthday, so I'm gonna cook tonight. Uh, we got some other stuff going on tomorrow night. I'm not gonna be able to film nothing probably. Oh, uh, ain't gonna lie to y'all. I was gonna do a little overnighter tonight. I was gonna put my backpack on I had me a steak that my buddy Brandon Watkins gave me. I was going to take it down to the creek, and I was going to set up and cook. I had a couple of squash. I had them in my cooler, a couple of peppers, some of this stuff. And I was going to cook down the creek bank and just do an overnighter, set up my hammock and all. Y'all, time I walked down there, my shirt was soaked. The deer flies was eating me up. I sat down down there beside the creek and uh, cooled my hand, took my shirt off. I mean, I took water, washed my face out of the creek. I got my water bottle out, took a swallow of it, and it was warm. I sat right there, reevaluated my life decisions for the day. I said, you know what, self? This ain't the way we want to spend the night. <laughs> so I called Marie LeBeau, I said, look here. You come on down here on that buggy and get me and bring a cold bottle of water with you. And I'm coming out. <laughs> and I'm going to spend my night on the porch cooking my steak on the Blackstone, filming it in the comfort. And when I get hot, I can go in there in the air conditioner. I got a ceiling fan right here over me, a whirling and a blowing that hot air around because there ain't no cool air, I can tell you that. It's been upwards of around 100 a day. Probably like 101 heat index on my little deal down yonder, which I don't know how accurate it is, said 123. Now, the humidity is about 80%, 75-80%. Y'all, you can't even hardly breathe out here, so. I'm out here gonna cook. Uh, we've got some squash, we got some banana peppers, uh, and you see me cutting up some really small bell peppers, pepper plants. They're about this tall, and they had about 10 little old peppers so you want to pick them off so it don't break your plant over when they do get big so that's why i was cutting up some small peppers uh i got a fresh tomato right here and i got a couple more in the house um uh, i'm thinking about cutting this zucchini is way more than i need to eat but i want some zucchini so i'm gonna take my little knife i couldn't find my big knife so i'm gonna use my little one here But nobody's here to eat except me. Uh, I tell you what's going on. I'm a little proud of it anyway. My birthday and my wife's grandma's birthday is on the same date, June the 18th. And uh, she's turning 100 tomorrow. So my birthday, obviously, is going to be on the back burner, which I'm okay with that. To me, a birthday is just another day once you hit, you know, once you get over 18 to 21 or so. Uh, it's just another day. It ain't nothing special. So uh, that's kind of what's going on tomorrow and why I wouldn't gonna do nothing, no filming or nothing tomorrow. So we're going to have that. And they all up there decorating for a party. They're going to have her. So 
there ain't nobody here but me and I think Lisa's in there. She's been at church camp all week and uh, she's catching up on her rest cause I'm sure they wouldn't get, didn't get in the bed till about two or three in the morning there and night. We watched a good bit of it on Facebook live and they had some really good services y'all. So uh, I know they was all, they all wore out but they've had a good time. Glad they all got to go, got back safe. So we got the Blackstone heating up over here. Uh, I put some oil on it already. Uh, I wanted to make sure I got this thing clean for cooking my steak. I do want to say, Brandon Watkins, thank you for that steak. I've been saving it for a special occasion because, y'all, this is a homegrown steak. The man had his uh, had a cow processed, or uh, a steer, and a... Uh, he come brought me some meat and just gave it to me. So I really appreciate that. Oh, and we're going to film cooking this steak, y'all. This ain't no, this ain't no little sirloin like you, you'd be going to the grocery store yet. This, this man brought me a show enough steak now. So that's why we're going to cook this, celebrate my birthday tonight. We're going to sit out here and have hot coffee. I got a book I'm reading on I need to finish. And I know when I said hot coffee, I lost some of you. But y'all, when I drink hot coffee warm, it somehow my body, it, it seems to cool me down. Uh, don't ask me how, I, I can't explain all that to you. Uh, not even gonna try to. I, I ain't interested in arguing with you. If you don't believe me, that's all right. I mean, I ain't, I ain't trying to make you drink hot coffee if you don't like it. If you don't like it, I'm okay with you not liking Because the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. And I like hot coffee, by God. So we're going to have it. Oh, uh, taking your curing and your, 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 your curing off. All right, we got it clean as I want to clean it. We fix and get started of cooking. So what I like to do is get this hot because I like my steak medium or either rare. Uh, I don't want my steak burn up. Uh, I have got it marinating in some Dale seasoning and some Italian dressing. And I put some uh, picking and grilling original on it. Now, I know a lot of y'all like the banjo dust, and a lot of you like the the, uh, the butter pecan. I think they got another one out that I hadn't even tried yet. But I'm a fan of the original. I, I don't know. I'm just an old... I like the original. Y'all, I'm going to put a little Italian dressing on this stuff right here. And uh, that helps this seasoning right here stick at it some. And I'm using, like any other man uses mostly, garlic, salt, lemon pepper. You ask, you ask, you got, you got, that's what you got to cook with. But now I ain't putting that on the steak. I already got the steak seal. When I get through with it, I want this hot. I'm going to throw it on there. We're going to sear both sides of it. We're going to cook these vegetables. In fact, these vegetables are going to take a little longer than the steak. So we're going to go ahead and get them put on there. Y'all ready? Let's don't do it that way. Let's do it. Let's do it like this. Oh, that's smelling good, y'all. I wish we had that smell of vision. Man. Man, y'all, what y'all talking about? Yeah, that gum, that's gonna be some fine eating. Fresh out of the garden. Hey, fresh out of the garden, you, you can't you can't beat that with a sledgehammer, I'm telling you. Alright, I brought my steak out here. Oh uh, let, let me let me let y'all take a look at this. I got it marinating in a bowl. I've had it in the refrigerator, and that's Dale's 
and Italian dressing on there. We're gonna throw that steak on there, and uh, after we get it on there, we're gonna put this original picking and grilling. Y'all, that's good stuff now. I'm telling you. Y'all go buy you a bait of it. Tell them Scotty Chun how good it is. Y'all don't know, I, I got this steak wadded up in this bowl now. Y'all, look at that. That thing, woo! Now, we're going to save a little bit of that, that juice. We're going to go at it with this original. Y'all, when I get ready to eat this thing, we ain't going to need no, no uh, steak sauce now. Y'all, I won't never forget. I went and eat some steak with these folks one night. They come out there and took a steak order. We ordered all men. We all got a big old, you know, ribeye steak. And uh, the girl, she looked down at, at the boy with women. <laughs> and uh, she said, what kind of steak sauce would you like? He looked up there and he said, I better not need it. <laughs> I thought, you know, he got a point there. <laughs> you see people die, but they'll, they'll get a mistake. They'll cook it, tuck it, shoe leather, and then they got to drown it in steak sauce where it'll slide down. About like them poor folks that claim they don't like mayonnaise, and then when they eat a sandwich, they have to put all kind of other junk on there, either get a big old glass of water to dip it in where they can get it down. Because they hard it. They ain't don't like mayonnaise. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, that's great. I'm going to let that steak cook about seven six or seven minutes and I'm just timing it I'm just kind of watching but now that's a lot bigger steak than I normally be cooking oh yeah look at that crit caramelizing right over there on the edge of that all right now we're gonna go back in it with this juice that's left over man that Dale's got with some good stuff And we're going to hit it with this Scotty Chun special. Scotty has good stuff. I'm telling you, my brother, I like it. Man, y'all, like, it hot as it is, I still like to get out here and cook on this Blackstone. Oh. This is the way to do it. I got a good grill, y'all. See, my daddy rebuilt. I don't know if I showed y'all. I think I put a clip of it in one of my videos. He took an old grill I had and uh, rebuilt it for me. The, the bottom was starting to rust out of it. And I told him I wanted a firebox. He built me a firebox, put a set of wheels on it. Added a different thermometer in it. Moved my pipe was right here down to this end, so it pulls that. Man, it works a whole lot better. You can cook on that thing now. My britches is too long. They keep getting under my heels. I can't stand it. Y'all like my knife. You can go back and watch a video of me making that knife. That's a lawnmower blade, y'all. That thing is sharp. That was a really good lawnmower blade. Some of these high-dollar lawnmower blades is really good steel, y'all. All right, I got me a bowl right here, put all this in. Southern Mud Pottery. I get to keep the ones that's got blemishes like that, because you try to sell it, people don't want to buy that stuff. You tell somebody something's a second or cracked or damaged, you can't give it away. All right, y'all, I got to check on my steak here. I don't want it burnt up. I mean, I, I want it red in the middle. I don't know. I don't, uh, let me get over here and get all this, this vegetables off right here. Because they about done, I know. And they're going to be hot, y'all. I threw some jalapenos in there. And I got the end of one of them. Bell peppers. It won't hurt nothing. Else. And you see the onion tops I put in there? 
Y'all, that steak covers up that whole pan. Y'all, look at there. I like that knife. All right, y'all, I don't think I'm gonna try to put that whole steak in my uh, plate at one time because I won't have no room for none of my good garden vegetables. And y'all, I think I overcooked that steak. No, it's still a little bit. It just ain't bleeding like I really like. I didn't get no better way of grabbing this out of there, so we're gonna kind of rook it out here. You know? Y'all know about ruck it out. Hey, my fingers, I know where they been. That don't help it matters none. <laughs> All right. We, we might order what they call say grace over it. Dear Lord, we're so thankful for this food, Lord, and the, the donations that was made to us, the people that give us this, Lord, we thank you for the increase in the crops that you've made. We thank you, Lord, for every plant that has produced for us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we also had enough sense to come out of the swamp and cook this out here, Lord, in a little more comfortable environment. We pray, Lord, that you bless it to the nourishment of our bodies, Lord, that it would give us strength and good health. In Jesus' name we ask you, Lord. Amen. And y'all, that really wasn't a joke. I am glad I had sense enough to get up and walk out and down there. Y'all, I was sitting on that log down there on the creek bank, and I done got them chills, you know. My body don't handle the heat no more like everybody else does. Uh, when I tell people that, man, it's too hot out here, after I had a couple of spells like heat strokes doing metal roofing, I, I don't tolerate it like I used to. I know I don't tolerate it like other people, so it don't take a lot for me to get overheated no more. And that's really not good, but there ain't nothing I can do about it that I know of right now. Man. Doggone them zucchinis, man. And some of that was yellow zucchini as well. And a little squash, bell pepper. But now for the money, ma'am, what you talking about? Yes, sir. Man, that steak's tender, y'all. And to top it off, here's to you, folks. It blows my mind. I watch all these camping videos and all these people, they think it's the coolest thing to walk off out in the middle of nowhere and pull this old hot beer out of a backpack and sit there and drink it and make like they enjoying it. Y'all, I used to be a beer drinker now. And the only way you can enjoy a hot beer is to be an alcoholic. They ain't nothing as far as enjoyment Better than sweet iced tea now. Y'all know I'm telling you the truth. I did not say that it was good and healthy for you now. But ice cream ain't either, and I'm probably going to have me a bowl of that here directly. Oh, Lord. Mmm. Y'all, that good eating now. Even if I did cook it myself. Hey, 
Happy birthday to me. I had to go get my guitar out and sing me a song. I'm going to go drive through. Don't lick my finger now. Folks won't like it. Yeah. That fat on that steak's good. Y'all, there's a woman come in from work the other day. And, uh, she didn't see her husband when she got in. We got to walk around, went out there back at the old shed and found him laid out out there. He had just sprawled out. She got to looking at him, his lip was busted. He had a black eye. Old cheek was swelled up. She said, oh Lord, somebody has done whooped him. I mean, he had done, he, y'all, he done got whooped pretty bad. He was laying there knock slam out. As she went back up there to the house and got some cold water and come down there in a rag and daubed it on him, he didn't come to, so she finally went over there to the rain barrel and got a dipped up bucket of water and just poured it on him. He's come on, he come to him, just spitting water everywhere and come to him, what in the world? And she said, what in the world has done happened to you? Who, who has whooped you? He said, I don't know. She said, you don't know what in the world you mean? He said, well, uh, the last thing I remember, I was walking around out here and the horse flies kept circling around. He said, I was a swinging at them. He said, I knew I hit myself a time or two. <laughs> this fella had done whooped himself. The horse flies is so bad out there. So y'all gotta be be careful around here with these horse flies, man. Them things, they get to flying around everywhere. You be beat yourself silly. Well, y'all, I'm gonna polish up the rest of this, <laughs> and um, I keep looking at this other. There's a good bit of steak left, but I hate to overdo it. I may go wake Lissy up and see if she wants a bite of it. Roscoe, he probably wants another bite. He's he's just standing right here waiting on. Let me let me give him a little piece of him. Roscoe, come over here. Y'all see that dog stand up like this. Roxanne doesn't come running over here. Here she is wanting a bite. Come here, Roxy. Come here. Crazy dog. <laughs> I gotta share with the puppies, y'all. But anyway, thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. I appreciate y'all watching my videos. I try to entertain a little bit, give you a little bit of education, but I try to make it all worth watching. Hit that thumbs up down there if you enjoy what we're doing. Um, I know a lot of you watch it on TV and different things, and they don't really have the option for that. But if you watch it on your phone, you can hit that like down there. It helps these videos a whole lot. We en I enjoy filming these videos. I just enjoy entertaining and talking to y'all. But I really appreciate all of you that watch them. I honest to God, I'm very appreciative of it. So thank y'all for watching, and we'll see y'all next time. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. And we'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one. Mmm. -hmm.